In one fell swoop of the gavel, nearly 50 years of collective bargaining rights for public employees in Wisconsin were all but erased. The nearly month-long standoff ended this afternoon after the Wisconsin Assembly voted in favor of the controversial bill to the dismay of Assembly Democrats and protesters. This has nothing to do with the budget. This is about union busting. And uh, as you can see now, they have separated it and uh, they are taking an independent action on the collective bargaining rights as opposed to the budget of Wisconsin. Wednesday night, Senate Republicans split the bill into two parts, one containing the financial aspects and the other containing the collective bargaining right restrictions, allowing them the opportunity to vote on the controversial legislation without a Senate quorum. On Thursday, Wisconsin Governor Scott Walker said this wasn't a vote on rights, but rather a vote on finances. Federal government employees, for the most part, do not have collective bargaining for wages and for benefits. So for those who tried to, uh, to uh, frame this as a debate about rights, it is not. On the same day of the vote, State Senator Bob Jelk returned to Wisconsin along with the other Senate Democrats. He said Friday afternoon after spending 20 days in Illinois, this has and will always be about workers' rights, and he vows to restore them. Senator Cullen and I and other of my colleagues believe that we still have a good enough relationship with many of the staff that we're going to continue to go back to work to try to put these pieces back together and restore these rights that were taken away. Back to work, but how much will be accomplished with a state in chaos? In Superior, Trevor Roy, the Northlands News Center.